Hey, this is Daniel for Adorant Pro. Today we're talking about doing some very simple food photography. We're gonna use some LED lights that right now we're plugged into the AC, but these can all run off batteries. So if you go into a location like a restaurant or something, and you wanna make a really nice shot for a food blog or that kind of thing, this is the kind of technique you'll be able to use. So my light of choice for this project is the Light Pad by Roscoe. It comes in a couple of different versions, a lot of different sizes. It's very, very skinny, very cool little lights, very soft. So these are daylight balance LEDs and I'm working with the Sony a7S, which is a tremendous camera in low light. So I don't need a lot of light here. I actually already have an exposure, if you will, on, on my camera, just with the light that's coming from the windows behind me. So if you imagine if you were in a restaurant or something, there'd be some light coming in, just the general environment. There's a, there's a shot there. I mean, I could make a photo. I could also take my light and I could do what a lot of people would do, which is front light. And if I front light this, let's say if you had a flash on your camera, that kind of thing, uh, it's really, really flat and hard. Uh, this is what a lot of people will do because that's where your flash is on the camera. The, the very least thing you can do is get your light off the camera. Even just moving it to the side or doing anything like that is going to make for a better photo. You see I have some shadow control. It's not really appealing, but you can see I can at least be creative with this. I find that with almost all product photography, and I consider food photography product photography, you should always start with backlighting. I think the backlighting always looks good and it's just a great place to start. Let's work on our composition first though. So I've got my little treats here. They were delivered to me in these little pink boxes, which I decided to use. And I'm also using as a, as a background paper, if you will, the bag that they came in. So I'm only using the things that you would have if you bought these things at a location. I chose to put the, the red, uh, the raspberry treat in the back because I think the color is a nice background contrast. Also, it's got a nice round curve to it and I've put my boxes in kind of a curved position. So I'm creating a composition that, that creates, leads your eye in. I'm not exactly, following a rule of thirds thing here, but I'm pretty close with this one down here. I could move it over a little bit if I want to be really particular. Once I'm focused, I could use a remote or just a self timer or whatever, because I'm gonna walk away from my camera now. The camera is no longer that important to me. It's already set up, it's not gonna do anything else. What I'm gonna do is come over to my light, which is a Roscoe light pad. This is the Axiom style. The Axiom style light pad has a metal frame around it, so it allows for easier mounting. I have it mounted here to a C-stand. Obviously, you could either hold it on your hand or put it on a very lightweight stand if you want. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm, I'm essentially lighting my, my, uh, my object, and what's cool is I've set this up in such a way that the pink boxes are actually throwing a little bit of a shadow on the, the treat in the back, so I'm giving myself some depth with some shadow too. If I really wanted everything evenly lit, I could move my light more to the side. But then again, I feel like that becomes very flat. So by putting my light over here, I'm actually partially shadowing my rear element, which is the, the raspberry tree, right? So this actually looks pretty decent as is. If I wanted to get really perfect, I could take my other light pad, not plugging in or anything. This is just a white surface and I can just use it as a reflector. So I can just bring that in. And now I've just filled in my shadows, right? Take a picture of that, I think. Good. This is a very quiet camera. And there you go. So that's pretty good. And if this was a video, what I could do is I could do like a focus shift, let's say here, and, and focus from the front item to the, to the real one to make a, a short little clip. I could also, this bag has the logo on it. I could back up a little bit and show the logo. So there's a lot of things I can do with this very basic composition. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV and I'll see you next time on set.